welcome to Panting of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game. So this is the core set. This looks awesome. It does I, indeed. I don't really know much about it, but I've seen the miniatures and my jaw just dropped, literally. I was yeah, like, they look Tool. amazing, actually. Um, <clears throat> they do, they look so we, cool. We did have a slight foray into Marvel models when Nike did them for a very short time. time. Yeah. You can see why they lost their, uh, the, the rights to, the rights to do it. I mean, um, they were nice models. They were very thin and slender <clears throat> kind of things. Some of the there was a lot of miscasts. There were a lot models. of miscasts, yeah. I mean, the, the Nike models knew I'd class them to better, but I'm sorry I got burnt too many times with Nike models. Yeah. This is made by a company called Atomic Mass Games. Mm -hmm. um, there's the logo down there. It's quite cool, a little robot. A little robot. Um, <laughs> Linked with Esmo Day, which is obviously linked with FFG. Yeah. So you might see some of that influence come through in the it's, rules. Yeah. And it's very much like the card game. The, <clears> the, the, that picture. Yeah, you know, it, like it, the, it looks very much like the card game that FFG did. Yeah. Uh, which, is it the legend? I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called, <clears> but no, no, I've not seen it. it. Not played it. Uh, so this is. This is what? The other side of the box. This is what you get in it. <clears throat> So we have ten heroes, well, five heroes and five villains. <laughs> yes. Uh, and some scenery as well, mm -hmm. so which is cool. So when I saw all the contents of the box, uh, I saw the models and I thought, yeah, they're cool. And then when you get scenery with it as well, it's mm -hmm. always a bonus. Uh, and I've been told, I've not actually read the rules myself, but you can download them for free, which is always a good sign. That's good. Because I was going to read them before the video, didn't get a chance. I've been doing other videos, you may have seen the Legion mm -hmm. videos popping up. On our channel, our YouTube changed some of its settings and everything. I'm trying to get used to the new settings, which is a bit weird. Uh, but anyway, that's a, that's, a, that's a jaded talk for another time. <laughs> um, so let's uh, open this bad boy up. We've got the we don't have, clippers. Don't any of the got clippers here. Um, weapons of opening. Weapons. Yeah. <laughs> so you got some interesting people in this kind of thing, they've, they've not gone for, you know, um, all one team or people yeah. from all one, one faction. Well, the way I understand it is anyone can really team with anybody else, you don't have to have heroes versus villains. You can have villains and heroes working on the same side, which, which happens quite good. lots of times in the comics. It does, it does. And uh, these models seem to be based, I was going to say based just on the comics, but I've actually seen some of the ones that are coming next. To be honest, they're not. No. Uh, I think probably the ones that There's kind that of a mix between the films. Yeah. Especially like Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the comics. Mm. Um, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. No. As long as the miniatures are awesome. And you've got some random ones, because there's um, one on their own, which is uh, Modoc. Modoc, yes. Uh, so Modoc and the Hulk are also where we haven't got those yet. I wanted to read the rules, make sure we wanted to continue. Yeah. And then we'll decide. Weather. Rather than just jumping in and grabbing everything. Um, but here's the rule book, and here is the main part of the content. So you can see there, we get the heroes, we get some scenery, we get these boards and all these tokens and the cards. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what we'll probably do is if you want, uh, put in the comments if you want us to play like an intro for this or anything. Mm -hmm. But for now, this will just be an unboxing uh, and build of the models. Uh, we'll build those as well, see how easy they are to build. See what kind of plastic they're made from, see what kind of glue we need, kind of experimental. Because uh, this part I don't know, so because uh, if it's anything like the FFG plastics, uh, I'm not going to use polymer cement, not the one I've got anyway. Uh, it'll have to be super glue. So we've got those. Those are the character cards. These are the character cards? Yes. Cool. So I've got these for a uh, So we've got so Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo. And a double side, so like injured side and full side. Black um, Widow. Black Widow, yeah. Uh, Captain America. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Marvel. Yay! <laughs> Cross Stones. Mm, interesting character. Uh, Doc Ock. Yay! Uh, we have Iron Man. Yeah. We have the Red Skull. We have Spider Man. Cool. And we have Ultron. Ultron. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So, see what you've done there. Yeah, we already pre-agreed who we were going <laughs> we to actually pick and paint. Yes. So if you're wondering that he's not sorting them into any order there, right? the order is the ones that we're having ourselves. Yes. I'm going to be having Ultron and Red Skull and Iron Man and Captain America and Black Widow and you're having the B team. 
<laughs> the B team. So I'm having Spider Man, Octavius, Crossbones, um, Carol Danvers, and Baron Zemo. Oh, to be fair, I'm pretty jealous about Spider Man. I do like Spider Man. Spider, yeah. I know you love Spider Man more. I do. More, so. Yeah, thank you. Uh, right, so I'll give you those. Yep. Keep taking them away. It's alright. I want to get to the, uh, the dice. The 10 dice, I believe, have gone to the box. Uh, there's also a dice pack out. I don't know how necessary it is. I suppose unless we'll find you, want, out. you want like one set for you, one set for me. It's true. That's a possibility, but I don't because obviously when we get like Legion, you need more dice than you get in one set. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know what this is gonna be like. So we have baggies filled with sprues. Um, that'll be the scenery. That'll be. Yes. That's scenery and models. Uh, that's all scenery. Uh, that's all bases. Bases are awesome. Can I tell you in a second. Uh, models and models and some cards right at the bottom, randomly. No idea what these are. Well, I still have no idea about these. These are very familiar as deployment cards. <laughs> uh, from like Legion or something. Yes, oh yeah. Uh, so I, I wonder yeah. if these are like missions and like, you know like Legion's got. Which would be cool because I do like that font. Uh, there's something else in here. Oh, I hear rattles. Oh, there you go. Ah, there we go. I thought we were missing something. We have rulers. Double check. What we do, we have cards. It's absolutely packed. Just make sure there's no more secret compartments. There's a lot in the box. Actually, uh, there we go. Okay. Wow, where to begin? I've got to look at these bases. These look interesting. These are all for all intents and purposes like games workshops, scenic bases. Um, they're very nice. They've got a good level of detail on them. So it looks like it's, it's probably not specific as to who has what base, other than the fact that obviously some people are going to have larger bases. Um, that's cool. I like that. Right. More tokens here than you can shake a stick at. And uh, some sticks to shake. <laughs> so look at these actually. Because these look. They measure these sort of like movement ones are very familiar. So look at the measuring sticks. That's quite like that. Because once you, you paint them up, they like power blasts and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Uh, in their current form, they look a bit weird. Gotta say. Uh, doesn't really show what, what they are. You can see like weird reliefs on them and falls. Would have seen them painted, they have like. These raised bits are all in black, and then the bits are filled in with like, like bright blast type colours. I think that works quite well. So I'll probably be stealing that idea. And then we have a three with more symbolism on. And maybe these are symbols or something. I kind of very much looks like I don't know. Not, I thought for it was like the shield symbol part of it. If you look at that, it's just like a atomic blast symbol or something. So it's very sort of um, very comic book, actually. I like that. Nice touch. Right, let's hope they don't snap like the FFG ones. But we have uh, the movement. So if you've played Star Wars Legion or seen any Legion videos, well, mainly like the, the main set unboxings, you'll have seen these before. These are clips which clip together. And unfortunately, in one occasion, the Clone Wars one did snap. I don't want to snap these because um, these are cool. Because uh, they actually have, again, like almost comic book emblems on them. Uh, so we have the long one. I just think that's how it's split up. Uh, long, medium and short. <laughs> there we go. So that's almost like flying. So you, that's like Captain Marvel on that. Uh, so that's a long one. The short one's kind of just some dude running fast. Maybe like Quicksilver or Quicksilver. Uh, I nearly said the Flash. 
And I thought I better, oh, keep, oh, I better oh, keep it Marvel. Oh. Keep it Marvel. And then we have Medium, which has got like a picture of what I can only imagine is the Hulk mm-hmm. jumping over. So they're even they're cool. I like these. I'm a sucker for things like that. Right. So it's, it's sort of like extra, mm-hmm. I don't know, in depth sort of. Yeah, but in worlds rather than just on the plane, really. It's cool. I'm saying with dice, the dice here are just red and. Uh, just red? Just red. But if they did like specific dice, like Avengers dice, oh, that'd I'd be, be all cool. over that. Oh, yeah. I just like dice. <laughs> so we have here a car manufacturing plant. <laughs> These are nice. Have a long, but like zombie games and stuff like that, wanted to grab up some of those walking. We don't play the walking dead, but I've liked the vehicles, like the broken down vehicles and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I've long wanted like some 28mm sort of vehicles that look modern. These are cool. They're quite nice, them actually. Yeah, it looks like Persia. Oh dear. <laughs> then the electrics will be shot. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Practical experience. Um, yes. So, is, there, is, there are some instructions in the back of the book, by the way. Um, and I've probably lost them. Well, I, I think they're buildings. The reason I opened this, though, was because yeah, we have more car parts. Oh. So, we have the inside of the car, we have the axles. And we have wheels, and we have there the wing mirrors, and the optional taxi top. Oh, cool! So we can have one of the taxi, one of not a taxi, <laughs> for instance. Cool. Uh, otherwise, it's the same model twice. Um, apart from a little detail. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Actually, I'll take the baggies because we've got a lot of stuff here. Oh, we so read so the bags to keep the uh, tokens. In. Yeah, I put the tokens in there for now. No waste. Uh, so we have some street. Okay. You're gonna start off now. I was, yeah. I thought you were handing it to me. We sorry. have uh, two street lamps and two traffic light systems. Uh, we also have the bases for those. All the parts there. We'll get to that. Uh, we have more building pieces. Uh, that's one of the buildings that comes with it. They're just square buildings, but the thing is, they are plastic. Mm-hmm. I like that. Because uh, there's plenty of games that do buildings, it's always cool to get terrain. Some of the times it's car, it doesn't matter. If you're getting some terrain with the starter set, it's always great because you just play out the box. But car to- terrain does get replaced all the time. Uh, these being plastic, these could be probably, probably used forever in the game. Mm-hmm. Anytime you're in sort of a city state, you've got the Daily Bugle. Yep. Which is awesome, a little stand here. I'm trying to get all the scenery bits separate. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering what, what I was randomly picking up bags. Uh, I'm trying to get the scenery bits separate from the heroes and villains. And I think it's a to figure out where it all goes because it's all pretty much. So these are dumpsters. Yep, they're definitely dumpsters. Uh, they are. I do like them actually. Is that a Marvel symbol? Particularly? It must be. From somewhere. From there, that dog. It Bulldog. It probably is. Bulldog dumpsters. Is that a Marvel thing? Might be. I'll have to have a look. You're the Marvel, right? <laughs> uh, excellent. It must be something in Marvel, that symbol. It probably will be. Because um, the um, tankers that come in, there's, there's like a tank coming out with Oscorp on the side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I presume that's something. So that's Doc Ock. That's. I'll give it on to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Ultron. That's the uh, top of Ultron. Yes. <laughs> Probably the, uh, the one that was in the film. Best bit about that was the creepy I have no strings on me. Yeah. That was, that was creepy that was and that was good. Yeah. And that was in the trailers and that was the best bit yeah. of Ultron. 
Because it was it creepy wasn't... and horrible. Yeah, it was creepy. Um, but <laughs> it wasn't James Spader's fault. It was the writing. It, mm. They just turned him into like f- evil, funny Tony Stark. Yes. And of course, anyone out there knows what has nothing to do with Tony Stark. No. They it's got... to do with Hank Pym. Exactly. Um, but Hank Pym hadn't been introduced at that point. No. And I think maybe there was too much for Michael Douglas to, to give him all this stuff to do. Well, yeah, because Hank Pym's a lot younger yeah. in the comics. In the comics, yeah. Uh, so there and we also go. So that's cocked up. Cap. 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 Right, Cap. I think that's Black Widow. Yes, it is. Uh, we have Captain Marvel. Hey. And we have. No, that, that's not Captain Marvel. That's Isn't Spid. That? Is it? That's Spiddy. He looks very feminine. You look on the back. That's the spider. What oh, is? Flying. <gasps> Sorry. Plus, I was looking at the red skull behind him. I was wondering, oh. I was wondering why there was two cosmic cubes. <coughs> <coughs> cool. He's got two cubes. Why has he got two cubes? One to give to Magneto. Oh. And, then, and then the other one to give to Doctor Doom. Oh, brilliant. What? I hope they do Doom and Magneto. Well, those three have held the cosmic cube before. Although, I think Magneto did uh, the best one with it. I don't actually know who I like more. Do my Magneto? Oh, I do like Magneto. Uh, <laughs> he is cool. I like his utter sort of disregard for everything. It's brilliant. Mm-hmm. But then, Doom. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, so that is. I don't know. I'm not even reading these out now. I'm just thinking of like Magneto, Although... Doom, and Red Skull on the table together. <laughs> Juggling cubes. I don't know. I think Wait, that's Crossbones. That was Crossbones. I think it was Sound or somewhere. Uh... Uh, I think that's Crossbones. And that is Baron um, Zemo. Somebody. Uh, what's his name? Zemo. Baron Zemo. The only thing I can think of that was James Bond for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, that's <clears throat> Mr. Stark. And obviously, then that is Captain Marvel. Yeah, obviously. Uh, it was obvious. Yeah. Brilliant. No, oh, that's. Black Widow. Is it? <laughs> You've nicked Captain Marvel, haven't you? Damn it. I thought I was going to get away with that. One. Cheeky monkey. I thought I was going to get away with that. And there's me yeah. trusting you. <laughs> Wholeheartedly trusting That's you. That's twice a day fooled you. Right, so in the back of the rubbock, uh, I'm just flicking to the point where it says it's assembly instructions and read this first. Oh dear, I thought, is... I thought you were going to shout something like... Instructions assemble. assemble or something. Bugger. <laughs> I missed my chance. Damn it. I'm disappointed in myself for not doing that. No one else is. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I was too sort of like taken aback by assembly instructions. Through the back of the book, read this first. The back? <laughs> I meant to read this first. I've already broken my rules. <laughs> So uh, we'll build these in order until they come in the book, mm-hmm. which is Captain Marvel first. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. We'll have to just, uh, remove these. Oh. You right? Yeah, I've got one there. I've got one there. Right. Okay. What might do, I'll bring the camera in. I'll be one second. Okay, guys, so we're back. So, just to show you the Captain Marvel sprue, that's what it actually looks like. Um, there you go. Uh, these aren't numbered at all, so what we're just going to do is cut the parts off and place them on the relevant sections. And Chloe can pick a base and we all start sticking that together. So we'll be back in one second after they've been cut off and cleaned. Hey okay guys, so we're back. We've cut off Captain Marvel. I've also got two bits of sprue and I've glued them together with plastic glue and they seem to be bonding. So plastic glue should work. Which is amazing. Yay! Because these arms look really fiddly. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is glue um, the two 
exactly that, right? I'm going to glue the two body parts together from step one. So we've got the back part, which has got these um, little prongs on, which aren't shown on the picture for some reason, but there's four prongs on the on the here on the picture there's like one big prong, but that doesn't exist. Uh, there are four prongs and there are four holes so that's to go into. So we'll put a little bit of glue on that. And I don't know the way this model goes together, I don't see it going together without glue. Might be wrong. If anyone's stuck it together without glue, let us know and it's gone together successfully. Same with them all. But uh, as always, we'll endeavour to glue everything together. That is a good old squeeze to get it into place. Where it's gone in. It's good. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Uh, actually, I'll move that down to the bar. Um, so next we have the arms. So uh, we have these two tiny little bits. These aren't numbered. So looking at the pictures of these little arm sections, there's one that's got a longer little peg. And I'm assuming that's this arm from the picture. So uh, that's what we'll be going into this part of the arm. This bit seems a little bit unnecessarily fiddly, but uh, there we go. So glues together at the elbow. I'm hoping those two pieces are matching. looks right to me and then the other side I should glue that bit on it's really hard to tell on these bits because they're so fiddly because I don't know why these bits had to be separate The elbow bit though. Mm. You're right. Yeah, I was just <laughs> I was looking at the um um traffic lights. Yeah. They just look cool. I mean fiddly but so far no uh battle dried. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we need to put the head in place and the arms now that we've just built. So, how they go in that? She's looking slightly off to the side, isn't she? Yeah. There we go. So that fits in. It's got like a peg, uh, the peg's cubed, so mm -hmm. you can only put it in one way. Um, and then we have the arms, which... Make sure I put on the right way around as well. Sure, we get this right. Just fiddly. So that locks in. So I'd advise sticking the arms on before you stick the head on, because that's come off. There we go. Let's do the other one. Try to make a good position to hold it, because I've put that. Yeah, I definitely advise. Doing the head after the arms because you put any pressure on the head and make it fall off. There we go. Cool. Okay, uh, so that body is now finished and is at that stage. So we've got the legs, which are these two parts, and again, there's a little peg on the little square peg. Show you how to line them up. Like so. 
so and then that will attach to the body Seems to go together very well. There's no does gaps kind of thing that I can see. Just that head doesn't want to stay on because it you know, just started bonding when I knocked it. So one of the things is don't rush to put them together like we're doing, it's just for the camera. Mm. We want to get them on place. So while that's bonding a little bit better, I'm just gonna glue the two parts of this rock together for the base. Just a quick thing about the base, so there, there is the base. I don't know what millimeterage that is. I'd say 35. You're better at it than me. <laughs> it seems, and it's a base to me. <laughs> it seems it seems larger than a 32 mil space marine base, mm. but not quite as large as the terminal side of the base. So I don't know. Just just a guess. It's an unusual size. Right, so we'll put this bit on, whatever this bit is. It's the sash. The sash. Yeah, she's got like um, a sash around her waist. Okay. Um, yeah. Funky. There's a little peg there, well, to have a weird shape, not really even a peg, on that bit. And there was a little bit of a cutout on her leg, which does seem to be of the same configuration. In theory, that goes around the like that. Yep. Apart from it won't stay on because I didn't push it on far enough. There we go. Yeah, and that matches up. Right. And then the foot has a little peg on the bottom of it, which goes into that hole on there. No way, it's not going to go together without glue. It's too loose. Mm. And the base, this is the base on the picture. Mm -hmm. The one with a little bit of a grid. Mm -hmm. And that. Uh, yeah. So I assume much the rocks are still like some form of masonry or something. I would yeah. imagine. And a bit of metal, battle, battle going on in the city and so it's such like. Guess you're about. To go slightly over the grid to get it central. Let's give that a second to dry. Oh, cool. It's quite a large model, actually. Yeah, she is. I think it's because she's she's um, lifted up on that bit of masonry kind of thing. It looks like she's just about to take off. Take off while she still can. But there she is. It's quite a large. Even without that, I think they're quite large models. Mm. That's cool. Like a sense of scale, and we've got some more of them. Mm -hmm. So that's Captain Marvel. Yep. Trying so to stay on the ropes. But yeah, I'm just using Games Workshop's polystyrene cement, plastic glue. If anyone was wondering, uh, this is a pretty standard plastic glue polystyrene cement. Uh, I use it for a lot. It works on these, on my Legion, because that's staying on. Mm -hmm. I might leave you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Spider Man. Spidey. Does whatever a spider can. Does he know? Can he spin from a web? Yes, yes he can. can. Wow. <laughs> should have spoken word out, I'm sure. We should, yeah. Oh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, so uh, we're we'll going to pass off uh, this guy. Um, then, um, it's not, I don't know why there's many parts for Spidey, 
We've got two body parts, we've got the limbs and head all separate, and there's two base parts, might be about the same actually. But it looks a bit more succinct because the arms aren't in separate parts. Yay! Right, so um, let's get the bits off and we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, so we've got all the parts for Spider Man. One interesting thing is he's got two heads. Not that Spider-Man has two heads, but there are two identical heads on the sprue. Mm -hmm. uh, just having a look at the red skull, there's also two identical cosmic cubes, which we'll get to later. But these seem to be spare parts, so exactly the same. So it's not like a head with a mask, head without a mask, or like mm -hmm. a cosmic cube or something else. They're the same, they just, just look like the spare spare versions in case you lose the original or it gets knocked off. Like I was saying, it is Spider-Man's you know, face mask, so like it, it comes off in every film, doesn't it? It so does, yeah. Yeah. So we can reveal his secret identity to everybody. <laughs> right, so the first off we have the two body parts. And again we've got these four little connectors. And we have uh, actually there's actually five connectors on there, which is strange. Alright, yeah. What is it? That's weird. What's happened? There's six connectors on there. Yeah, that nearly confused me then. <laughs> nearly. Okay, it confused me. <laughs> oh, admit to it. So the six connectors on there. I'll put the one for them, that's fine. Uh, then we have all the limbs and the head, which are going to go on. Uh, legs and they all peg on. At least the, the arms in this case are not separate entities in their own right with passports for themselves and stuff. <laughs> like Captain Marvel's. <laughs> Uh. Oh, good. See, that looks like it would fit. It also looks like it would fit there. It's so confusing, Spider Man. You tightly are cut to distracting me. There we go. Charms extend it's this one it's extended, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm giving some webbing out. Mm -hmm. Like that. You know what would be really good if they include some little speech bubbles with like the whip <laughs> and thwack on there or kapow or something like that. But it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Because it, it feels like a bit like a comic book kind of yeah. game, especially with the buildings being quite comic booky. Maybe we should paint them like the cell shaders. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much Spider Man, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, now we just have, have to do the base, which are these two parts. And this is like a fallen girder, isn't it? Is yes. that going on that? Wow. This is my own question very quickly. <laughs> How's that going there? Like that. Put it on your floor. Okay. So I talk to myself off camera usually. Mm -hmm. Right, so that goes on there. And then, is there a particular place? I don't think so. I think it's just... Oh, there we go. So there's a little dib there in the rock. Just there. And then if we also put... A little bit of glue, I think, on the back of this foot, if I've got it right. <coughs> okay. And then that should attach to there, and then the other foot attaches onto the girder. Oh, wow. Like That's so. cool. And then we have this base. Probably the most interesting place, but probably the cracks at the front, I'd say. Hmm. Uh, I'd do it with the cracks at the back. This is like a big piece of masonry that's fallen on the pavement. I wonder if that's what's cracked it. Let's see, I'm trying to think out a story all the time. Like that. that needs to be a bit further back, I think. 
not very symmetrical. There we go. Cool. Spider Man. Cool. He is cool. I'm really jealous. Uh, <laughs> right, that's the first one, man. Yep. Which is Johann Schmidt. Mm -hmm. Red Skull. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the parts off the Red Skull and then we shall return. Ready for some villainy. Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, to also point out, the bases also have these, which come randomly sort of attached to them. And what they are, if you can't really make them out, it's quite hard. There's like plastic cups, kind of like Starbucks, Costa, Nero, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever your local uh, big coffee. chain coffee is. Um, there's like a bottle and like a crushed tin can, and they can go on anybody's base. It's just had a little bit of more city refuge in there as well. So we might, I might wait until we're done and then see which ones they kind of look good on, or where there's room to put them. And we might just dis distribute them near the end. So I'm just going to give these back to Claire. And then we can move on with the Red Skull. So the Red Skull has two body parts. Which is also like most of his mask because he's wearing the long Nazi-esque Hydra. Hydra. Yeah. Uh, coat. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Come here. Oh my god. Like that. Then we have um, his arms. I think one's just. I don't know. That's that one. Or not. I think that's that part. So again, arms are separated into two parts. One of them is, is his pontificating arm. <laughs> Where he's holding the. Uh, yeah, that's why he's holding the cosmic cube. I think this one's just his face. Ah, this behind one's behind it. his back, isn't it? Yeah. He's got the gentlemanly one arm behind the back. Yeah. The supremely confident stance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one will be holding a cosmic cube. Mm -hmm. And this one comes in two parts again, but this is kind of more of a slidey arm. A little joint, so. A lot easier to figure out which one's which in this case. Yeah. But then this one also has a third attachment, which is the cube. So that. So then, like I said, there's two of those cosmic cubes, but they are identical. Um, and uh, what we'll also do at this point is we'll attach. We'll do the arms for yeah. We'll do the arms because they're the most fiddly bits. That one goes in there behind his back. That one goes in there. That's cube. Don't put that in there. That one goes in. <laughs> That's a big plug. That's no, cube. Uh, that one goes on there like that. Touch his head. Which uh, face would you like? I don't know. Oh, what would you look good on? Corresponding base. I like that one for Iron Man. There's some metal on the base as well. Maybe that'll be too much metal. Put Schmidt on the metal. There's a lot of black. Yeah. No. I'm going to stick him on. The one is actually on. Mm -hmm. It's like a cracked pavement in front of him. I kind of like that. You can kind of imagine maybe he's changing reality or something in front of him. It's cracked pavement. Yeah. It's like he's in um, an industrial um, warehouse or something, perhaps. Yeah. 
you know, like an arms factory or something, and he's pontificating to the to the workers. You'll work more. I'll turn you inside out. <laughs> so there we go. The red skull. Do you know what you need to do? Just put a little bow on the top of the cosmic cube, and you'll be like, "You gave me this this present." Oh, yeah, cr Christmas red skull. <laughs> Someone's given me a Christmas present. Sure, magnetizing, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> What is this Christmas present? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So what him set. And now we can move on to Octavius. Doctor Octavius. Woo! Doctor Octopus. Doc <laughs> Ock. <coughs> yeah. So again, we'll do a pause the camera, we'll cut all the parts off, and then we shall return. Hey guys, so Doc Ock, a little bit fiddly. Um, so we have a ton of these little bits here. We're going to try and figure out, because these aren't, again, these aren't numbers, where these go. And we think we've got it right from the pictures. It's really hard to show you um, which bit is which, other than the fact, obviously, these are two part arms, mechanical arms. Um, and obviously there's one, it's got like a little peg on one, it's got the, the hole for the peg. we just got to try and match up. I think mm. they're right from the angles on the picture, it's slightly hard to tell, but I think they're right. Um, so I'll try and show you them best as I can as we're going along. Uh, and then we have the pincers on the end there. Mm -hmm. so two of them are these three parts there, that's great, they're cool, easy to deal with. And then two of them are these closed ones. Which for some reason come in three parts each. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. First off, we'll stick the two body parts together. Again, we have a bunch of pegs, like uh, the previous guys. So we should push those into place. Make sure that's firm on that. His head's quite large. His neck plug is quite large, so that can go on at this point. It shouldn't really be a problem. Glaring forwards. Then we have the arms. Now his arms are folded in classic Doc Ock style. So we actually have this little hole at the front as well for them to go into. Do you prefer classic Doc Ock or Alfred Molina? Personally, um, Alfred Molina. Really? Yeah, I think he made a really good job of Doc Ock. There we go. Let's push it in the middle and push it into place. There we go. And then the feet. Should be dangling above the, <laughs> above the ground. I mean, if the Spider-Man films are going the way that I think they might do, which is the Sinister Six, they'll have to do a new Doc Ock. Which would be cool to see what they do with that. Well, we've got the Vulture already. Yes. We've got Mysterio. Mm -hmm. Well, he's dead. Unless he's dead. Oh, Unless he isn't dead. Unless he Unless isn't he dead. death, which I yeah, suspect. I reckon he has as well. Like everyone does. Um, you know, and then we've got... Who else was in? There was Green Goblin, wasn't there? And uh, Dr. Octavius. So Sandman. Need Green Goblin. Well, he didn't need Green Sandman. Goblin. Yeah, they all definitely need Sandman. So these arms are two parters. Three of them are, anyway. And they, they have like the connection is going to go into the Doc Ox back. The connection is going to attach to the claw. And then a third connection in the middle. Which hopefully will attach to each other. So let's get the connection in the middle together. Like, like that. Well, three. There we go. And then I'll use a 
works for this end. Got the claw on it. If it goes on in any particular way, it does have kind of an oblongy. Yeah, it does go on. Like so yeah, it does go on in a particular way. So that's one arm. Second arm is considerably easier because it's in one piece. Right, now the, the weird bit, which is these claws. <laughs> so these claws, it looks like we have some extra bits. Because we have two of the sort of fingery parts, don't know what you call them, pincers, two pincers. of the pins, the bottom two like that. And we're going to glue on the top one. And there's actually four of those. So there must be two spare ones. Possibly. See, I can count. So we add that onto there. To finish off. So it's like I'm sort of punching my like that. And then same again. On to that. Those are the two spare bits. Those are the two spare parts. And then obviously we've got to stick these together. So hopefully the other the right ones. And they want to cooperate. I think each of the little pegs is slightly different, so you might not be able to stick the wrong one. I don't know for sure. I'm not pulling this part to find out <laughs> what's gone on. And then we have this one as well. Yeah, I think they are all different. No, oh, that's not bad then. So there is that is a slight clue on how they go together. He is still on the base, isn't he? He is, yeah. See, so yeah, I'm quite surprised he didn't have two of the legs down, and holding then, them up. Yes, that would have been cool, but then again, would the connections have been strong enough? If they built the legs in with like some scenery and stuff, they could have had like a big block of scenery, like, and the, the actual claws on the block. On the, yeah. And then plug the legs in, they go up to the back, hold it up, so it's suspended him like it does. They have the top two claws pretty much like they are. Then his hands out, maybe, I don't know, holding a gun or something, I don't know, mm. some scientific beaker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's more scientific than a, a beaker. A bag or something um, like the swag bag. Swag bag, yeah, he's actually got some swag. <laughs> swag. That'd be awesome. Right, uh, so let's get these claws on here. These claws look exactly the same, and the connection is just a circle for these, so I don't think it actually matters how. These go on. Yeah, so those two are universal. So there we go. Okay, so Doc Ock. We have four connections and we have four slightly different sized holes on his back. Um, so these will go in those specific holes. So let's see if we can figure out which is which. Kind of looks like that. That one loops around. I would say that's probably going to be that one. Mm -hmm. Which leaves. That one to be that one. That one to be that one. And that one's. That one there. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. So hopefully those connections match up. I hope. So let's see if this one matches up first. Oh. Yep. That's one in. Cool. Try. Let's see. 
Uh, I think that one might be that one. It is. It's the one we thought was those actually. Ah, okay. And then vice versa. Now just reattach his leg. Because he said he doesn't want to stay on. And then we shall attach it to his base. Which is one of the larger bases. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this leg dry a little bit. And then I'm going to attach it. So I'll just pause the camera for now. Back in a second. Okay guys, so. Octavius, finished. It looks cool actually, I really like that. It looks awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> right. Black Widow's next. Mm -hmm. Got bodies. Body. Um, arm. Oops, mm. roll off the page. She's got a two part arm. Or... Yeah, it's two part arm. It's not too bad though, it's just yeah, a Yeah, you've got a spare part here as well, but I won't bother giving you that. Which bit is it the hand? Or... Yeah, the. It's that no, bit. It's two part arm. Um, you've got a. Is that a gun or something? That's a gun. Yep. It obviously goes in the way. Uh, you've got a legs, which are there. Mm -hmm. And then you have a head, which is there. Cool. And that is it. Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. So we should stick the body together. We've got three connections on this. Uh, we have two part arm. Let's stick these together. It's so one arm and then hand at wrist and then do the other arm. Cheers again. Might try to fit the elbow together. It's got a round peg on that one. It's a bit easier to get in. We've got our legs. That's what that like. Mm -hmm. um, strange. What's up? So is that? Oh, yeah. so that's that's this leg. And then there's a little groove cut out. I wonder what the groove is for, it's for the gun. It's for a gun, yeah. Yeah, so that goes on there. Which leaves the groove for the gun then. Huh? Which we'll put on now. Yeah, so there's a little peg on the back of the gun. So you go on there. I was just thinking about those little bits, you know, the um, cans and the coffee cups and stuff. Yeah. You know, one of them that looks like a bottle? Yeah. You should put that on Tony Stark's face. Controversial. <laughs> Why? Right, let's not see the light on. The reason I put that on is because it looks a lot easier to... Hold on to, I'll sort these arms out. So we have that one. 
should be a right stretched arm, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. No, and then finally the head. Done. Now I need a base. Do you reckon? What? So we're gonna get us the black. Oh, one of them. Big one. Maybe one of these. Yeah, maybe one of these. So I'm going to be a bit of a faff to stick on to the base. It's actually those ridges in the base, not helping. Ah. Yep. So Claire's going to pause the camera while I fill this out. Okay, so there she is, stuck to the base now, thankfully. Uh, those ridges are a bit faffy on those on the bases. Because like, she's got like a smaller connection than the other ones. But it's gone. So Iron Man next. There's the body. Yep. Um, these are one of the thighs. These are legs and two for me. Yeah, so oh those God. two go together. Okay. Uh, those two go together. Okay. And then the bottom part. And then the bottom parts go on. Wow. Six part legs. <clears throat> okay. Um the arms. The arms. Which one have we got on? Yes, I'll, I'll put them all together anyway. Because yeah. I've kind of dry fitted them a little bit. So that's all. Is that his right arm? Yeah, that's all Doing together. That. Those four parts are his right arm. Yeah. And then you've got the other arm there. Yeah. And then head. He says in one piece. <laughs> Can you imagine if it had been like mask and. Mask. <laughs> yes, beard. Beard, yeah. <laughs> God. Right, we'll put the body together for That's one thing that would be quite cool to have um, with Iron Man to have his mask off on, with on, an, on or off kind of thing. That would be cool with them all, wouldn't it? Because mm. if you look at the other side of the cards, I don't know how it plays in. They've all got like a slightly battered version of themselves. Yeah. So it'd be cool to have a slightly battered version of them all. It would. I mean, you can just swap it out, kind of thing. So this is thigh. Mm hmm. Two parts. And then. Leg goes on there, does it? Mm hmm. Okay, and then same this side. Uh, I think I might use the contrast paints to paint. Mm hmm. That'd be. Over a metal undercoat. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah, because then. Be quite what we need to do. Shiny. Yeah, because they do come quite shiny. I try mm. on those space marines. Um, 
I tried it on that sister of battle, didn't I? Was it the yeah, it's um, quite a nice thing to blue. do. Contrast over metallics. Mm. I'll do I'll just put the arms together as well at this point, and they can be drained too. Mm. Is that a shoulder pad? Yes. Mercy. Yeah, so one's got a plug and the other one hasn't, so you know which one's which. Come on, I mean, at least this Iron Man is cool, because it's the Iron Man from the films, at least it's not the gold tights one. Gold tights Iron Man. <laughs> With the, uh, the metal underpants and the circular things on his hips. Yeah, so the shoulder goes on the gold tights Iron Man. Was that the 80s or something? Like, late 80s? I'm sure it was the one that was in um, Secret War as well, that uh, Rhodey War. Was on the other one that Rhodey War? Yeah. We were pretending to be Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, oh, that'll be right. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> So we've got a little bit of a little bit of a little this one needs a hand going on. So this is this one's he's holding his hand up, isn't he? Yeah. He's doing the Iron Man blast. He is. Casual blast. Yeah. Not chest blast. No. Uh, high five. It's like high fiving someone. Is that right? Boom. <laughs> no, it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah, he's got his hand up like that. Of course it is. It's like that. Right, <clears throat> let's get the legs in place. Uh, right, yep. So there's that round part there in the armour which has to fit into the leg as well. Should his feet be flat? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's odd. They're on the right one, aren't they? Uh, I hope so. I suppose I have to go on there, don't I? That's the other one around. Oop, can't be. Those have to go on like that. What's the other one around? Maybe they are. Yeah, I think they were. They were all <laughs> Feels wrong. That's just the visuals of it. Maybe he's wider. He has a wider stance than it looks like. Because he has. Maybe he is.
just uh, it's a bit misleading the picture. <laughs> I see you putting him. Uh, well, I'm not even on that. That looks fine. Great. Mm -hmm. I think the picture's a bit misleading, it makes his legs look like the most sort of straight. Straighter, he's yeah. Not, he's actually got quite a wider stance. And um because of where his hand is it makes sense because he's like about to blast someone. So he's kind of like bracing for Yeah. 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 So that stance makes a lot more sense. Maybe you guys pick that up from there. That's still drying. So we'll come back to him at the end. <laughs> well, we'll come back to them all at the end. We'll have a good look at them because they'll be dry then. We'll move on to the next model, which is Captain America. Captain America. Okay. Yes. Character I never really was bothered about until the films. Yeah. I liked him in the Justice League crossover. The one that I lent you. Yeah, when him and Batman got along quite well, I liked yeah. that. And I was like, oh, alright, Captain America, he's alright, actually, isn't he? And then um, Chris Evans did such a good job of playing him in the films. He just seemed a generally likeable person. Yeah. But yeah, Winter Soldier was good. Do you ever remember seeing the, um, was it the 90s one with Matt Salinger? Yes, yes, I do. That was like a director. TV was. Yeah, I was a lot younger then and I quite enjoyed it. Because <laughs> I was a lot younger. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was a superhero film and there weren't many back then. No, there wasn't. Uh, well, she kind of thought. Uh, yes, <laughs> there was that, yeah. <clears throat> oh my word. That was terrible. Yeah, I think all the Thor films are better than that one. Mm. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we'll get the parts for Cap off. I'm calling Cap. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to, I'm going to be hip. I'm going to be with the kids. <laughs> I'm calling Cap. Like they do in the films. Like Ant Man does. Or wants to. <laughs> and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're back. We have all the parts of Captain America. So again, I'm going to start with the body. We have. Five little points of contact on there by the looks of it. Yep, plenty of... There's plenty of points of contact on there, if I give them that. So far... These are like famous last words as well. So far these have gone together pretty well. Tim jinxed it now. Damn it. Should have known to at the end. Especially with this next bit that's coming up. Because uh, we have these two little pouches. Now there's a double of this on the spruce, one of the things that it's doubled up on. These pouches go on the side there and on the other side. There. We have the arm, which has got three points of contact on it. I think two are for the shield, and one's for the shoulder pad. Now, this shoulder pad, because two shoulder pads, obviously, has got nothing on it, and the other one's got the Avengers symbol on it. Let me just get that in place on there, and then we'll stick the shield on. And that goes. Hard to tell. And a slightly small peg to the front, I think. Very slightly small peg. So that goes on like that. Leave that there. Leave that there. And with the other arm, she's sort of holding out. That's got the Avengers pad on the top. I think he's holding it out so he can grab Thor's hammer. Yeah. He's 
That'd be a cool audition, wouldn't it? Not would. <laughs> Having my thoughts on that. Yeah. <coughs> so put that there. And there's his legs. Which two part. So I don't suppose there's anything in the game, because if you've got two players who've got the same <coughs> star sacks, like and you choose your team. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to stop your team containing Captain America and my team containing Captain America. Oh, I thought so. They kind of fight each other like they do in Endgame. We could be clones. Yeah. Or time travel. Time travel, yeah. Or time traveling clones. Yeah. Or time traveling robot clones. Mm hmm. Uh, so if we just stick that on the. Like that. And the other arm on the other side. He's ready to whiz the shield, isn't he? Yeah. Someone's ready to get a shield in the face. <laughs> Stuck. It's probably Baron Zemo. Probably, yeah. And we'll put the legs on. We should put pro attachment. You realise that, doesn't And then. It's in Rikers' head. Like that, come on, it's then. Like that. Now on my base. Oh man. <laughs> it's not sticking quite as quick as I'd like. <laughs> Well, we will come back to Captain America again and the thing. Show you quickly. There he is. And then we have crossbones. Mm -hmm. I would say of the, the lineup that we've got here, probably the least well known. Crossbones, yeah. Even though he's still in, he's still in um, Civil War. Yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's the least well known. He's got the least air time of any yeah. here. Is he, you know more about him than I do. Is he a mercenary? He's a mercenary, yeah. So he's uh, linked mainly to Hydra. Yeah. Um, and he knocks around with um, Baron Zemo. Bar well, yeah, Baron Zemo and um, Red Skull. Red Skull. Yeah. But he's just basically a merc. Yeah, he's a merc for hire, basically. Right, cool. Yeah. And he does have a separate face. He does, but then again, look at the helmet and tell me that that doesn't look like Magneto's helmet. It does as well, doesn't it? I think they've done that to test whether they, they can, can do Magneto's <laughs> helmet kind of thing to, to have a go at it. They were going to do Magneto for this side and then thought, no, I'll just put cross buttons in. Yeah. God, it does look like my meat. Don't it? Oh, no. That's what I thought when I was cutting it off. I thought, it seems daft having a separate face, but then the more I looked at it, the more I was thinking, I wonder if that's what they're going for eventually. Yes, yeah, they're trailing things thing. out. I wonder when we get around to the Punisher. Oh, cool, that'd be awesome. Are we going to fight over it or something? No, I'll let you have pun yes. Punisher. As long as I can have Daredevil. Bugger. <laughs> like that, <I'm> <laughs> I hope they do the kingpin. Oh, sweet, yeah. <sighs> William Fisk. Right, so. Mandarin. The Mandarin. Yeah, the original, the original. Mandarin. Not the Mandarin out of okay. Iron Man 3. Okay, Pierce. No, <laughs> it's not, he's not the Mandarin. Playing at it. I really wish it had been Ben King's out. It was like, oh, twist, I don't like this twist. No. No, that, I felt shortchanged. Probably. It'd be better if it turned out at the end he was actually kidding all along and really was the man. <laughs> yeah. He, and he just acted his way out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, like, oh, I got you. Right, so that's the body. So we have something there, isn't it? That's the knife. 
across the knife. Yeah, so the knife goes pointing also, upwards. And then there's also like a little pouch yeah. that on there. So the knife goes pointing upwards. Actually, I think Crossbones is in um, that game I got on the Mega Drive, Captain America and the Avengers. I think Crossbones is in it, along with um, Taskmaster as well. Cool. And Ultron. Ultron. Mm, Ultron's in it. Proper Ultron. Proper Ultron, yeah. Not Pansy Ultron. And Proper Mandarin is in it as well. Although he does kind of shout out Seymour's flowers. Seymour's flowers? Yeah, if you actually listen to the um, sound bite, it's meant to say see my power, but it sounds <laughs> like Seymour's flowers. Seymour! <laughs> Seymour's flowers. Yeah, that was always the joke that me and Mum cracked up at when we played it. It's the legs. Oh, it looks like this bit there because there's actually a gun that goes in there, isn't there? Yeah, there. Oh, 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 travelers. Let's get that in there. Right, no put on the arms. He's just in like a fist fight mode, isn't he? He is, yeah. I think I'm he's, he's got like um, Juggernaut. Things on his hands, like a metally kind of pummely things. I think he did in um, Civil War, you know. Didn't he have those kind of like the, the fists from Fallout? The power fists from Fallout. And he had like yeah. knives coming out of them or something. He did, yeah. It cost me so long since I watched Civil War. Yeah. It's a bit like Bane, really, when you look at him. He's very. He's built a bit like Bane out of Batman. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without the uh, sheepskin jacket. He was sort of... Remind me a little bit of Deathstroke, is it? Yes. But then that's Deadpool, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't Deathstroke like Deadpool? Yeah. Deadpool. Deadpool, oh! Where's Deadpool coming out? <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. I'd have to fight over that one, I know. Yeah. You're not having Jean Grey. Why are you not having Magneto? I don't want Magneto. That one's on sideways. Whee! <laughs> oh! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! With that. You want it on that one? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, he's got like a bigger grip. Any particular way? Anyway, it just looks cool. It's got kind of a bigger grip than uh, Black Widow, so I'm hoping he stays on this base a bit better. But I'm not going to risk it on camera yet. We'll show a look at the end when they're all together. So, who have we got next? Uh, Baron Zemo. Ooh. Don't know why I said that. It was different. Yeah. It was different. <laughs> Don't even know where he's from because in the film he's just some dude. Isn't he from Slarkovia or something? Is he from that? Is he really from there? I don't think he is, you know. He's just some dude in the film. Yeah, <laughs> it's a terrible portrayal dude. of Zemo, to be quite honest. I can't remember the original story, but I have a feeling it was something that he... Um, it, the mask that he wears, it was like... Um, like a tea towel he put over his head almost. Okay. Um, and eventually some th he kind of put some glue or he fell in some glue and it kind of stuck to him. So he can't take it off. Right. Yeah. So he's an idiot as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. He does have a massive sort of sword though. He does. I like the sword. Like a proper long sword. I think this is like the updated Zemo kind of thing. I think that the one from the comics that I vaguely remember, he, he was kind of like. Do you know what it reminds me of? Like a Templar sword. Yes. He's not like linked to the Templars, was he? I don't know. I'll have a look though. I'll um, I'll have a look into him, into his. Uh, it's got the broad tip at stuff. the end. It's like a proper Crusader's sword. Sword, yeah. But it's got the. A very temporalish cross guard on it. 
Yeah. Not that many acts, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> right. Okay. We, have you got any parts? Uh, yeah, I'm just cutting okay. these. Just cutting these little. All right. I'll pause the camera and then we'll come back when it's all let out. Okay. So fiddling this ahead. Um, <laughs> that's a part. Yeah. It's that this little freaking elbow pad. Why? The smallest part in history. Right, um, so put the body together first. Just get to open. Four pegs. That goes on there like that. We also have another part on, on the body. He's wearing like a flight jacket, isn't he? Yeah. So it's kind of like the front flap. It's separate. For reasons. Mm -hmm. Best known to ever design them all. Yep, so that goes on, on there, like that. And then that's the body, so the legs, they go together. Come on, in you go. And then, oh, come on, it. And then there's a plug on the bottom of the body which sits in there. I should glue that together. That's it. Okay, so um, let's do this one first. So we have the smallest connection in the universe, and onto that smallest connection. Goes the smallest piece maybe I've ever seen on anything. Smaller than Jan Lowe's beard. Mm, about the same size maybe, mm. but far fiddlier because I can't even tell which way is the right way up. And I dropped it. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause the camera while we find it. Yeah, yeah, found it. It was on the thing. It's that small. It fell onto the arm in the right place. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It was just I didn't see it drop onto. It. I must have just dropped it on there, and then thought I dropped it because I was like looking everywhere, and I looked at the arm. And it's on there. What? By the gods! How? Thank you, God of sticking things together. Flip. Right. So this is the other arm, this is a sword arm. Oh, it's got a couple of connections there. Push that into place. And then we have the same problem issue with the shoulder pad. It is a different shoulder pad though, because this one's got a little friggin' peg on it. Oh no. <laughs> this makes it worse. I wish I would help me before I help me again. Oh god, no. <laughs> Don't want any. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, There we go. Don't know why I keep saying that. It's in place. Who knew? Right, um, so we've got this little bit here that goes on the foot attach the base and then we have the head and the arms to attach so let's put this bit on first and then we put it directly onto the base I think it goes on like that I think and then we shall put on Like so. There's a bit of crap on there actually. Should have took that off. Just can't move. Put 
I'm going to sew it on. I just wonder what he can do against like <coughs> Captain America and Iron Man. <laughs> Nefarious plans, that's what he can do. Great. Yeah, exactly. That'll be it. <laughs> have to have a look at what his, uh, his powers are and stuff. Probably involves a sword. Yeah. Right. Sweet. Cool. So it's quite a cool model. It is fun. actually. It's probably the close, closest I'll ever get to Lucius. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Lucius the Eternal. More like a Horus Heresy version. Yeah, before, exactly. Before, he's, Just gone before he's gone and he's started carving so. it into himself. Brilliant. Cool. I'm going to get a Soltara of this one now. Mm. It's one of my two favourite characters from that first book. Soltara of and Garo are my two. Yeah. I like the, the relationship they have for sort of like brothers from different, different. legions, but they're both from Terra. And they have those eagles on their arms, so when they shake hands, you know, the clasp bar, mm. the eagles meet to make the quilla. That's yeah. just so cool. It is. It's, it's, yeah. Right, sorry. No, sorry. We digress. Digress into the sorry. <laughs> right. Ultron. Age of. Age of. Has no strings on me. Um, How many parts are here? Quite a lot, I'm afraid. Ultron, no! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got quite a few. Right. Um, so these, these first two bits of the body, aren't they? So yeah. those first two bits go together. So we are thrown out on the floor already. Disgust, rage quit. Um, we have seven points. Well, and those two bits are going to go together. Body. Uh, whoop, oh. yeah. These three bits. Yeah, I'm not sure if those are the wrong way around or not. You might have to just. Well, I am about to find out. Check. <laughs> yeah. Three little bits need clean up on that. Go on like that. Is he doing Shakespeare or something? Looks like it, yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Makes sense. It probably is. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. This is the part we don't know whether it's the way right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be hard to tell from just looking at it. It might not be, it might be exactly the same piece either side. I think it's different. I think it's different. So it's really hard to tell. I think that is that one. Oh. I think 
goes lower there. It goes like that. Around here, I'm going to glue that straight onto the body, and then I know it's in the right position or not. Oh, this one's fiddly. That one goes on the Oops, in the old position. I'm muttering to myself now. Right, so I think that's right for that arm. Let's just check, get the other arm on, and then we know that that's right as well. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build this into the body because those connections are really odd. I don't really trust that. There's actually more on, there's more of a connection on this one. But the looks of it. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, heads and two pieces by the looks of it. Yep. Kind of like General Grievous, though. I know. Yeah, never noticed that before. No, it really does. Yeah. I think it's, the just, it's the side bit, it's side isn't it? Bit. It's a bit tidying up afterwards, I think. So that's the head. Mm -hmm. What's all this mug off? Um, these just go on the side of his hips, kind of thing. I think there's two, kind of thing. For, so there's one either side, but you've got two lots of ah. spares. I just cut them all out because I wasn't sure how many there was needed. So, get the head on. And these go... <coughs> to give an indication of which way around they go. Um, yeah, I think. Go that way round. So, yeah, it does look a bit like. Oh, Why is it that side? So, one of the others, it should go to the other side, in theory. Okay, do that. Looks like it does. Okay. So we have this next bit, whatever that is. That'll be the uh, thigh for his legs. Got a three part thigh. Yeah. Gonna be like Iron Man. Yeah. So I think those those three are all together. I've dry fitted them, and those three are all together, and then you've got the legs, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Pull the legs off, sorry. <laughs> Too much. Sorry. Too quick. I don't know what's going on. Where does it glue on? Well, one, one bit goes at the top and one bit goes at the bottom. So it's right. Yeah, so. so I think that one goes at the bottom. 
Long goes the bone. Should fit. Okay. Long goes the top. Mm. Like that. Is that right? That looks right to me, yeah. Should the meat? I think so. Okay. Uh -oh. So this is the opposite side? Yeah. They're not meeting, are they? No. Oh. I'd rather fit it in the mat. This is the wrong way around, or... Are they on the right way up, if you know what I mean, is one. That definitely goes in that way. No, that definitely goes in that way. That one fits. Yeah, this one's the wrong way around. I was told, you saw me. Everyone saw that, I was told. Tell you look afterwards. Cool, so those are the legs. It must be difficult once two pages to me. Yep. Okay, so which legs which? I, d I don't know. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I can't. Yeah, there's no way to tell. No. I think I'll start one. I think I'll start one. So that is, I have no idea what that is, because <laughs> none of them have got peg on. Well, if you, can you not Some use that, that that's as a, that a guide? And, what's this like? I'm sure there's a pack there, but there isn't. I'm sure there should be a peg on there. But there is a one. Odd. I think it should, should be one hmm. on there, no. I've not. It's like there's a corresponding hole, but there's no peg for it. Well, there was no peg on the spring. But then it shows pegs on the bottom of the feet where none of, does none exist. Mm. How weird. It must have changed the design a bit. That's what I'm thinking. I've seen a few a few of the yeah. instructions. They seem to have changed the the shape of the sprue or... But Because he's got these on his base that'll hold mm. them in place anyway. So we'll get these legs on. <laughs> it looks like there's a hole where things should line up. I like that's actually hanging off. How weird. Doesn't seem to want to go together at all. Strange. Hmm. So much wrong with it. Let's take his legs off. Let's get his thighs in place. And then we'll do it the other way. No idea. Uh, let's 
Do you have to tell which is which? Have they got different attachments on the base? Um. Alright. So they're at weird angles, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're at weird angles. Yeah, let's do it that way. Because these have to go in these spots. So his legs have to attach like that. So that has to go on that. And that explains why that one's at an odd angle as well. Right. Oh my god. Fucking hell. It's just. It'd be nice if they had put pegs on those because it would have kept it in the right place. Mm. This is really weird. I can't see what's meant to connect to what at all. Okay, well, let's pause this while you do that. Okay, after much fiddling, that's the position he's in. It would have helped if the uh, pegs were actually on there. I don't know why they weren't. Uh, but the best thing to do was to plug the, put the legs together and plug them into the base and line the, the top part of the body with the legs. Even then, this one was a bit fiddly. Um, there we go. Ultron. Right, give him a chance to dry, come back to him at the end. So that's all the characters done. Now we can make a start on the scenery. So it starts off with car time. So there's two of these cars, isn't there? Mm -hmm. uh, with an optional taxi. Are we going to turn one into a taxi? We can do, yeah. Yeah, we can do well, Then we won't do one in yellow. Yeah, yellow <laughs> and black. Yeah. So this is the undercarriage of the car, front and back. We have four pegs in there, and six here. This is where Nelson used to go on there. Then. No, I don't see anything. Right, so this should be pretty straightforward. Plug in. I will. Uh, I'm get in there. Well, everything's in place, like that. And we have four tyres, it's a good number to have on the edges of a car. Always carry a spare though. <laughs> so, these are square pegs, so it should be pretty easy just to fit these on. There must be some winger or something. You know what? I'm just cutting them off. I do like these cars, they're cool. Oh, okay. So now the winger is in place. Awesome. There we go. Uh, oh, we've got a taxi one. Tidy that up. And then we can uh, make a taxi. I put a flat piece on top of that piece. Mm. Seriously? This is the fifth attempt now. It's ruined me. Ultron's ruined me. Mm. Right, there we go. Taxi. Oops, oh, sorry. Am I putting this yeah. one together? Oh, you put them together. Okay. 
Yeah, well, we'll just have that one in a normal car, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll, um, what's next after the cars? It's the Daily Bugle next. Mm hmm So we'll get all the parts off for that and come back. And we will also get the parts, we may as well cut them all off, get them ready to put together. And we can show everyone okay. uh, as they're going together. So, back in a moment. Okay, so we have the cars finished. Taxi and car. Bar. They look cool. I really like these. Um, so we'll move on to the daily bugle stand. So that's the bottom. Well, we'll cut out, isn't it? It's got a three underneath it. That's the bottom part. The back part of this has got three little indentations in it. And the front part has two indentations in it. The back wall, which is here, and you can see it's got these three prongs, will go onto the, like that, like so. This side has two, two little prongs, which are quite close together. They will go on there, and then we'll be gluing that in place. And that will make this part of the wall. This bit here. This is the door to come in. You can see there is a hole there. That is for the door knob, which is the tiniest piece in the universe for terrain. And easy to miss. And easy to miss. And it was attached to another bit, uh, which Claire's pulled off. So I'll show you that when I get to it. But that bit is going to go onto the, and then that leaves this front part to go there. So I'm going to glue these bits together. Just wanted to show you that quickly, so you knew what I was doing when I'm throwing this together. to go in. Okay. Awesome. So that is on. And we should put that in place now. Yeah, basically building the box. A fancy looking box. From past this bit with the window. Put the roof on. No, we'll do it in the other case because this bit's a bit odd. So we have this bit here, which is like the, the actual stand with the, the tail register and some magazines and stuff on. And then we have this bit, which is the roof for that. And what it shows on here is gluing these two parts together. Which is like, all right then. Uh, so we'll do that like that. And then we take this bit and we push it into here which is exactly what I thought was going to happen if we did that way around so we better off putting that in there and put some glue on here and put this in place I would have thought Does that need to be sunken all the way in? I think it does, you know. I think it really... Does it work better from the other side? Oh, this is doing me nothing. I reckon it should, should be in there, shouldn't it? Is that right? Oh, 
it does feel like that should be inside more than on the edge like it is you know what I think it should be yeah that should be inside but and that should go the easiest way would have been to do that way around put that inside and put that one from the front maybe not Yeah, I'll just tell you to do it that way. So the dumbass way. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we can stick the roof on now, which has little indentations at the back for that to go. On. We should glue the whole thing. This will keep it in place. Like that. Next up, we have uh, we got this bit. Anyone? Hmm? I'm missing a part. There's this bin as well, so we'll put that together. That's got a little cut out section that goes on there. There's the bin. Uh, we'll just have a look to see if we find this, because there should be a part that this seems to connect to. Just one second. Yeah, so the missing part was this. It's a long piece, which goes in the back of the sign. There is a, a long strip, like an indentation into that side, and that goes in the other way around with the bolts to the back, and that gives you a nice lip for attaching the sign onto the, uh, the Daily Bugle stand, which is not really specific on where it goes. So we'll just try and make it as central as possible. Daily Beagle stand. Cool. That looks awesome. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. With dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that to the back. Next up, we have some uh, lamp posts. These are two part con <laughs> constructions. Mm -hmm. uh, they do go in a specific way, though, because there's a little lip on them. You can see on there, there's a little lip. And I presume there is some sort of corresponding thing, yeah. which is on the front there. So that goes on that way around. And the same with the other one. Then next up we have some dumpsters. Yep. So that is not on in place. So the dumpsters. Any parts on here? Uh. There's something called the side. Oh, it's these like yeah. Is. And then um, those um, seem to go pointing that way. So it's hard to show you really, but they go pointing. So, so the yeah. so the lid goes on first. Yep. That's gonna go there. Mm -hmm. and glue that on. You can actually tell this open. So you could do, I suppose. You could have one open if you wanted. It was, it was more of a, a thought experiment. <laughs> yeah. That goes on there. And there's these handles. Yeah. Like you say. There's got on the Where side. Where do they go? On the side. Alright, oh, so one of them's got a cut out and one of them hasn't. And there's a little notch in the middle of that one. I'll show you that one goes on that side. That at least is good. Oops. Shunk. 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 
there's any these, of these. So. Are these like hinges? Yeah. Ah, gotcha. So these go where the lid went. Yeah. And then onto. There's two little pegs at the back on here. Yeah. One's a square and one's kind of an, an oblong mm -hmm. shape. So I guess you couldn't have one off and then... Doesn't look like it actually from... But still... You can go ahead and mull it open if yeah. you wanted to. Mm. You not take too much, you just have to reposition position it a bit. If they'd both been squared you'd be able to do it. Mm. you just put it into the next square position, if you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because one's a knob long, you can't do it. No. So there's a dumpster. Did we ever find out what that was? No, I'll have to look into that. Cool. Yeah. So we got same again. Um, why is this wrong? Can we? Two dumpsters. Mm -hmm. Now we've got two traffic lights as well, have we? Yep. Give me bits of them on these, are they working? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got the walk, don't walk sign. Yeah, I wonder if you've got a, a walk, don't walk sign. And then that's the back of it. Right, and that goes where that circle is, doesn't it? Yeah. So I used to go there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bang some glue on it. In place. There we go. Oh, maybe not. And put it upside down. Probably. Would appear so. And then that goes on here. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway around. Anyway around. So the same again. The walk sign does go. Yeah. Should go there, shouldn't it? Should go there. That's right, isn't it? Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you never date yourself. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just going to stop the camera and get all the parts out, show you them all together, and you can see all the models built. Hey guys, so we're back with all of the uh, actual models in the game there. Mm -hmm. So I was put together. Uh, I probably they look amazing. Really they do like actually. They look really uh, cool. I really like them. They're, they're, they're a larger scale than, than usual. I'd say mm. they're at least thirty-five mil type scale yeah um they're at least mal i think they're bigger than malifor size you know yeah there's there's a lot more um yeah i think they're actually slightly larger a bit more detail on them i think yeah i mean 
we've all got, got a legion model here, you can compare it to. You see, they're a larger scale than that, mm. larger scale than legion. Um, got some primaris here, but it's hard to scale things up against primaris because they're bigger than everything. That's true. Um, so yeah, they are, they are a bigger scale than legion. Mm -hmm. So, they're not really going to scale in with... I think they're a bigger scale than the previous Marvel models we got. They you know, those, those were still quite are. large. They were, yeah, but, but I these, think are, these, think are these are better. Larger scale. And, they're, and they're better. Yeah. Oh, I like the fact they're in plastic. That's, that's already yeah. an improvement as far as I'm Definitely. concerned. Definitely. Um, in moulding detail and easy, easy to put together. So you saw us put that together. I'd rather an easy to... A couple of medium points. Ultron's faffy around his legs. Uh, the fact you've got to put arms together. It's yeah, faffy. with the at the elbow. That, and that. seems to be kind of a, a common theme through a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I thought they were very easy. The scenery was extremely easy to put together. That's, oh, definitely, yeah. That looks awesome. That went together really well. Yes, I really like this. This kit is being sold separate. Is it? So, if there's oh, any good. reason you wanted these for like a zombie game, you buy them <clears> separate. They don't. You don't need to buy the main game to get them. Or cool. if you had another set to go with this, which is tempting. Um, because you could always not put the Daily Bugle sign on or forge your own sign. Mm -hmm. Gives you some more dumpsters and some... If you're in a proper street and you want some more lamps and everything. Yeah. And a few more cars. In fact, you could probably knacker them up a little bit. Crumple them with some... Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? You could. You could do. Um, but as I said, there's also some tank. There's a tanker and like a dump truck. Oh, right. Okay, uh, cool. So that's kind of a must kit. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I really like the models. Um... Before we decide whether we're going to full into this, what we need to do is play some games. Yes. So we need to read the instructions. Um, but other than, looks like I said before, other than the models, we've got these rulers. It's got a five and a four. There should be a three somewhere. Because that is a two. And then we have that's a three. One of the movement rulers. So I presume this is how we're going to be moving around. So you've got like short, medium, and long. Mm hmm. Literally S L and M on the have a fancy colours. And they sort of fit onto the arc of those bases quite well. I think that's how we're gonna be moving around. But I need to read the rules. Uh quick look at what was in this. Because we never actually had a look in Oh we didn't, did we? In this random bag. But I don't know what it is, I'm not quite sure, but I can imagine those are layouts for battles. Mm -hmm. that they've got Letters on them. We have Cabal, Red Skull, what's this? And Avengers. Ooh. I wonder if these are like bonuses. So you've got Baron Zemo, Ultron, Crossbones, Killmonger, Loki, and Modok. They're the Cabal. We've got the Avengers, obviously Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Hulk, Thor, Prince of Asgard. Black Panther. Oh, well, you, you can see who's going to come out then. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Mission Objective cards, Sacrifice, Picture of Thanos, we didn't be giving any inspired monologue, Brace for Impact, Trip Up, Venom and Carnage. <laughs> oh, that works nice. Yeah. Drop Off, Disarm, Smash, Sucker. Scott to safety. The Age of Ultron. Cool. Dark Rain. Oh, there he's do. Second Wind. Avengers Assemble. Heave Ho. <laughs> Cosmic Invigoration. Ricochet Blast. Follow Me. Patch Up. One Two Punch. I've got Daily Bugle, Riot Spark, Over Extremist 3.0, and Infinity Formula goes missing. Do any of these make any sense to you? No, they spider don't. Infected, sure. Spider Infected Invade Manhattan. I need to know what these are. These yeah, are these look interesting. I wonder if these are like the. Um, I wonder if these are like missions. Mis yeah, like I was mission. gonna say like the storyline or something. Yeah, because it's meant to like story arcs. Mm. That's cool. Let's find out what size those are. They're like sort of standard size cards. Cool. 
Right, so there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. If you want to see us play again, put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, that's for now. Please like and subscribe. Helps out loads. And you guys take care. See you soon. Bye for now.